We are looking at figure 5.1 on page 87 of your textbook. Now this, this figure tries to get, show you four different marginal damage functions. Just to illustrate that the damage inflicted by different types of pollutants aren't the same. So certain pollutants um, maybe have a huge effect, even if there's only a very small amount of it in the in the environment. Other pollutants, um, you know, maybe have initially a very small effect, and then all of a sudden it it has a huge effect. So there's different type of pollutions, and therefore it has a each has a different impact on the earth. So figure A over here tries to show a type of pollution that initially with low emissions it has a it has, has, has no damage almost whatsoever um, and then uh, the damage stays very low look at the, how flat the curve is initially and then the damage starts to increase as emissions increases and all of a the sudden there's a, there's a level a threshold level where more than this if emissions increases more than this the damages just skyrockets right so um, that's the type of pollution that in small numbers it's fine but the moment there's more of it, it the damage increases exponentially um, B tries to show you a pollutant that even in small emissions over a year it, it has uh, some damage right so it's not like this one that on low levels of emissions it has low damages even with extremely low almost zero emissions it it causes damages to the environment and then the more emissions there are the, the increase uh, a higher increase we see in the damages and also quite steep so this is a type of pollutant that even in small numbers it's dangerous and as the um, amount increases per year it, it becomes even more dangerous so figure C has a very interesting shape um, it kind of has two parts. The first part over here to the to the left means that initially, as the ambient concentration in the air increases, there's a there's a quick increase in damages. Then it kind of settles. It, they, there's a it levels out a bit, meaning an increase in the ambient concentration does kind of little to increase the damage until it gets beyond this point, and that's the second part of this graph. When it gets beyond this point, if the ambient co uh, concentration increases, then there's a huge increase in the damage. So a reason for this might be that um, on the left here we have low concentrations of this pollution, and then most people are not affected by it, but maybe asthma, people with asthma or children are affected even on low concentrations. And then when the pollutant uh, are in the atmosphere in high concentrations, then not only the vulnerable like children and people with asthma are affected, but everybody's affected. And that's why we see this increase again over here. And then the last one is the um, is just a, a kind of a simple damage function. It, the thing is, it just it doesn't start from the origin. It starts um, at a positive value so this is just to say that on very low levels it doesn't have any damage to society whatsoever um, but then if the concentration the parts per million ppm increases then it increase the damages increases increases as well so it just shows low concentrations there's no harm but then if it increases more than low concentrations there are these damages done to society. So all these marginal damage functions just try to illustrate that not all pollutants are the same and the damage caused by pollutants differs.